Did you guys hear about the most recent alien invasion? Oh, no. <laughs> Kyle, can you pull up the picture, well, the video, actually, of the, the uh, most recent jellyfish alien that everybody is talking about? Jellyfish. There's a lot of controversy going on about this video. And I want you guys to take a look at this and tell me what you think. It is an alien. I mean, so it's cl- purported to be uh, a jellyfish alien. <coughs> Jeremy Corbell posted this. It's in his new documentary. <clears throat> if you can see it here. I saw it on the right hand side. It's coming. Yeah, it's it coming. He claims this could can't be seen to the naked eye. Could only be detected via like infrared or thermal or something. And that it is changing colors. And uh, so it's just over a farm. Was it cows? I think I saw. I'm not sure. Uh, Somebody did mention that dogs look up at it at one point. It's over an operations base in Iraq. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Interesting. So what, Peter, you're our resident loon. What um, what are what are we looking at? Well, first of all, what do you guys think? (laughs) So I was so when I went up to to Big Bear recently, I was with my with. Forrest has been on his show on NBC News, Gotti, and uh, he was he was heavily into this, and he knows yeah. he knows Jeremy. He's interviewed him a few times, and nice. And he's like, sorry, Jeremy's on, the guy who caught the footage. That footage. He received the footage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, but he's like, yeah, because he's on paternity leave. He's like, God, he's like, I'm so pissed that I'm on paternity leave because he's like, I really want to do this story. Mm-hmm. Um, so that kind of validated it for me a little bit because I know that he like looked into it from a journalist perspective. Mm-hmm. I mean, it literally looks like a, a craft from star Wars flying really over does. a U.S. base. Uh, Kyle, can you pull it up one more time? And, and so, so this thing has some sort of like invisibility cloak that you can't see it with your eyes. Correct. It could only be seen and it wasn't even thermal. It was some other, I forget whatever this, uh, whatever this type of, Oh, IR. So infrared. Uh, so sure. not even thermal. So, um, it's pretty crazy, but so what's now what, take, take another look at this. Sorry, go ahead. Take another look at this. Might it be just a splatter of bird shit That's on what an I was outside just dome? A smudge on the screen or the something? camera? That's or really more of a, a, a Patrick question, swash? but it does look like a, a smush on the lens, doesn't well, it? Well, that's what I was going to say is that I was, as soon as I saw it, I was looking to see if it was always in the same spot on the in the field of view, but it's not. But is right. that is that like there's a dome port in front and a camera here? Do you know what I mean? Right, that and is. Oh, and then the camera's here. The, and and the, the camera's, camera's panning within exactly. The dome. Like the camera, but I, camera would, the can dome move probably wouldn't move though. And if this was the bug splatter or the bird shit, I I think that that you're right. It's moving. the uh, The jellyfish is moving. Why would the dome move too though? Right. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know how those. I don't think it would. And Jeremy, there's someone who ate a, a greasy BLT for lunch and then smeared the outside with some mayonnaise on their <laughs> finger. It sure looks like it there. Or like a bug or something. No, but it's got. I mean, the Pentagon is classifying it as a UAP and multiple Marines who were there are commenting on it as if it was an, an, a, a flying object. Oh, I, I agree. I agree. And the big controversy and all the, the deniers and skeptics are, are claiming what I just said, that it's uh, either a bug smash or a uh, bird poop. But I, I don't think that. And Jeremy also claims that there's more footage that's classified where this object does the transmedium thing and goes into the water. So, you know, it's it's pretty fascinating, man, and I I think it's probably one of the most riveting uh, videos we have so far that's been released. It's crazy. So it was filmed from a balloon, something called an aerostat. That's basically a balloon rigged with cameras that just floats okay. around and looks for threats around the base. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, it looked like a cuttlefish a- to me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it could be a cuttlefish. Yeah, it does. Which. If we're giving validity to Peter's argument, is already an alien, so that would just sort of, absolutely that would bring that full circle without much needed explanation. They're caught, dude. They're, they they've been able to levitate this whole entire time. They just <laughs> they just stay under the ocean. The thing that I don't get is why nothing. I mean, nothing's moving on that smudge or craft or blob, right? Sure, that's a fair assessment. I mean, 
that that's a lot a lot of what the skeptics say. I mean, he does claim that there is classified oh. video, like I said, of this thing doing some erratic kind of movement. And it's like kind of like, OK, well, you know, that exists. You've seen it. Of course, we can't see that. You know, yeah. they did. They did say that that it goes. It basically leaves and goes away from the balloon and gets smaller and smaller and smaller and then just sort of disappears over this lake. And they didn't know. If, right. And they, the Marine that was there says he doesn't know if it went into the water, or just went out of their view. So well, that then, would debunk the smudge theory. Exactly. Sure. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. If you see it actually leaving the frame, that obviously gets rid of the smudge theory. Also seems like a very easy thing to, uh, you know, to, to figure out. Like, oh, yep, there is definitely some mayonnaise on the outside of this camera. You know, <laughs> right. like, it's, uh, yeah. if, if the purported footage does exist, and I don't see why it wouldn't, of the additional footage where it does go out over the water and you have pretty much like definitive proof that would debunk the debunkers and be like no no see it's not a smudge why why can't we see it like and and if that is the case the, they definitely the government knows like for sure that this is what people think it is and it's some type of fucking alien thing it's crazy but we for some reason we can't see that footage i, I don't get it 